Dev to Dev is an analytics system designed specifically for game projects. We have in total more than 20 years experience in game analytics, and we used it to create this system. Of course, all games are different from each other, but what is similar are their goals to earn more and methods of their analysis. So we've created the system that is based on all these methods and allows to find both problems in the game and points of growth. We are not the only analytics system on the market, but we have some important advantages over competitors. First of all, there are free solutions. They provide very basic indicators such as the number of users and gross. We give you tools for much deeper analysis. We show you all quality indicators, the structure of audience and gross. It allows to see not only the state of your project, but also find its problems and points of growth. What differs us from paid analytics systems is our focus on game analysis. dev to dev provides insights into game structure and economy. You can track user behavior on different game levels and locations, see the structure of purchases. We use basic methods to implement these game reports, which means you can start working with them in few clicks. In other systems, you would have to create custom reports for this purpose, which takes a lot of time and resources. There are also a couple of analytics solutions on the market that specialize in game analytics. However, dev to dev has some unique features which make us stand out on the market. First of all, we provide you with high speed of work. The average delay of data updating in some analytic systems is 24 hours, whereas dev to dev has real-time reports for main metrics. Secondly, data accuracy. dev to dev has market integration, which makes some indicators, especially financial ones, much more accurate. Thirdly, we provide you with a full cycle approach to data analysis for better results you start with traffic analysis to evaluate the efficiency of different traffic channels, then analyze user behavior and game economy, and finally push notifications to activate users and drive desired behaviors. Also, we have more ways of interaction with the game than other analytics systems. More as the case, different data sources, market, install trackers. You can even upload data via API. If you are developing your own analytics system, then for sure there is no analytics system that better meets your needs. However, we often communicate with such companies and see that even the most simple question, let's say how many players are on the 10th level, can cause lots of problems. This simple question starts the long process of building the report, which sometimes involves different departments of the company and takes several hours to be completed. With dev to dev you can substitute this long process with just one click. Your team can get any report they need, anytime. Besides, it is possible to create custom dashboards for different roles in your company. Marketers will work with traffic, game designers with game balance, analysts with SQL, and the producer will get total metrics for the project. We collect data from different sources. SDK, market data, install trackers, server API, and bring them together into one place in the form of clear, visualized reports. One of our clients who switched from a homegrown analytics to dev to dev once said, now I finally have time for lunch. dev to dev shows all key metrics of the project, audience, revenue, retention. Some of the metrics are tracked in real time. For example, users online, current revenue, and so on. You can attach labels to reports to see how changes in the project influence app's performance. Let's say you made an in-game promotion or event. You can create a label for it and see how different metrics were changing during this period. We can also forecast LTV of your project. This means that you will know how much money on average one user will bring you. 
In Dev2Dev, you can build any reports you need for different metrics and include several apps in one report to compare their statistics. You can then save reports, share them, add to the dashboard. The most common way to use dashboards looks like this. The analyst creates dashboards for different team members, marketers, producers, game designers, with insights that are relevant for their specialization. It is important that you can set access rights to different dashboards, reports, and even separate metrics. For example, you can hide financial metrics from programmers. In dev to dev you can create custom events and build conversion funnels. You can send us as many events as you want, because our pricing is based not on data points, but on monthly active users. Funnels can include up to 20 steps, and one event can include up to 10 parameters. There are some unique features in dev to dev funnels you need to know about. First of all, it is possible to make steps in the funnel optional. Starting from this step, the funnel splits in two, which allows to compare the conversion both with and without this step. Secondly, you can add steps that users have not completed by ticking NOT. For example, you can see how many users opened the shop but didn't make a purchase. It is also possible to set the time limit between different steps. And finally, you can see the distribution by custom parameter values. For example, to get statistics on how many steps are made by players to kill the boss in the game. We also have custom segments. You can create a segment of users who registered in October, came to your app from Facebook, play on iPad in France and are on the fifth level but haven't paid yet. You then will be able to build any report for this segment of users. We pay special attention to the first session. The tutorial funnel in dev to dev can be built for up to 120 steps. One of our clients integrated not only visible steps in this funnel, but also steps that are hidden from players, loading, textures, etc. It turned out that the majority of players were living on these invisible steps simply because they were reluctant to wait. So developers made the tutorial technically easier and it solved the problem. We provide you with tools to analyze your game structure. You can see how players are distributed by levels, how much money each level brings you. This data helps, for example, to create more targeted in-game marketing campaigns. Besides that, there is a tool to analyze game locations. We were initially creating it with Match 3 games in mind, but it is perfectly suitable for other genres as well. The system tracks successful and unsuccessful attempts taken to pass the location, attempts made per user, and so on. You can see on which locations many players leave the game, where they experience some problems. With this data, you can send players hints or give them more currency and boosters. One more cool report is the dashboard with app versions. When you release new versions, you always want to know how their performance differs from the previous ones, whether this new version is more effective. The dashboard shows the most important indicators of different versions – users, tutorial completion, retention, and gross. We know how to balance game economy, how to detect problems in it, and find opportunities to increase your revenue. For this purpose, we offer you reports about the structure of purchases by level, both real money and virtual currency, and reports about the movement of currencies between levels, how players earn, buy, spend the currency, how much currency remains in their accounts. For example, if you want to increase the revenue on a particular level, you can choose this level based on the data about currency balances by levels. Then you can see which items are the most popular on this level and use our push notifications to send targeted offers to players that are currently on this level.
Besides a rich set of game reports, we have a set of reports to analyze the behavior of paying users. Here we show everything you should know about users that bring you money. For example, how quickly they make their first, second and third payment. This report can also be built for levels. Thus, you are able to find behavior patterns that you can later use to increase your paying conversion. You can also find out how revenue depends on time since apps install, how many new and old users are among your paying audience and how much they pay. This report makes it easy to see how changes in the app influence different segments of users. Also, there is a report that shows how paying audience can be divided by recency, frequency and amount of their payments. For example, you can choose users who made only one payment and set them a discount for the second payment. Or you can choose users who used to pay often and large amounts of money but now don't pay and take some actions to return them. By the way, due to this set of reports, Datadev is very popular not only among game projects but also among financial apps. We know a reliable and accurate way to calculate lifetime value. Our forecast is based on pain behavior of users during their first days in the project. After a couple of weeks after the app was downloaded, we can evaluate LTV for a user cohort. We can also cut LTV by time cohorts, countries and tiers, devices and traffic sources. dev to dev gives you the opportunity to look at your project with users' eyes. There are user cards with all available data about individual users, country, install date, pain capacity, and much more. There are custom properties which can be used for A-B testing, for example. You can attach a mark to a user and then group users with the same mark to evaluate the results. You can see events with parameters that a particular user performed, as well as their sequence. Users section is very important for better understanding your project and detecting real problems that your users experience. You can also send push notifications to groups of users or even individual users right from this report. We are not an install tracker. Our specialization is user behavior and game analytics. However, we can receive data about traffic. If you use apps flyer, adjust or tune, we can get this data, process it and, what is important, to correlate it with data about user behavior. This means that any report on user behavior can be built for different traffic sources. For example, you can see how many users whom you acquired from banners reached the fifth level in the game. After you have learned how users behave in your project, you can make right strategic decisions on how to improve your app's performance so that it brings you more active users and more revenue. Push notifications is a perfect tool to activate your audience, to increase their loyalty and drive desired behaviors. And here is the good news. In dev to dev push notifications are completely free. Here you can create both push campaigns and push notifications based on triggers. It is very important that your notifications are targeted. So here you can choose user segments depending on the date of install, device, country, anything. It is possible to set logic operations between events. For example, you will be able to send push notifications to users who opened a shop but haven't made a purchase. Triggers in push notifications mean that you can set conditions when push notifications need to be sent to users automatically. For example, you can send a notification with a special offer when a player reaches the fourth level in the game. Then you can see the statistics of your push campaigns right here in dev to dev
Dev2Dev provides a very wide set of reports to meet the most of developers' needs. However, we understand that sometimes there can appear questions that our standard reports are not able to answer. For this purpose, we created three different interfaces for working with raw data. First of all, SQL Wizard. It is a visual tool for making queries to our datasets. You simply fill in the necessary fields, set filters, dates, logic and arithmetic operations and receive the result. It is an ordinary SQL, only with a visual editor. It allows to write complex queries that can reach even several displays. Secondly, there is Export Raw Data option. This is the tool for exporting raw data. You can choose a time period and events you are interested in. The data is exported in the CSV format. And finally, API. You can use our API to get any data you need. We can collect data from different sources. First of all, our SDK. We have more than 10 SDKs for all popular platforms, including such gaming platforms as Unreal and Unity, also iOS, Android, Windows. Secondly, we can collect data from install trackers, such as Apps Fly, Adjust, Tune. These systems provide data about traffic. Thirdly, from App Store and Google Play, you get information about app ranking, revenue from the market, and so on. Finally, there is Survey API, which means any data for any time period can be uploaded into dev to dev database. A few words about our pricing. There are two price plans, Lite and Pro. Lite provides limited access to dev to dev with Pro Plan, you can use the full set of dev to dev reports and tools, including game reports, unlimited push notifications, and much more. You can use Pro Plan for free with up to 10,000 monthly active users. If you have more than 10,000 monthly active users, each 10,000 users will cost you $25. After 100,000 monthly active users, you receive discounts.